Ladies and gentlemen, or should I say, ladies, if there's a dry seat after this man's been on, you can all have a free drink. Are you ready for this? Julia Elvis! Clap your hands! Raising a nominee! Raising a twist and shout! Twist and shout! Come on, come on, come on, baby! Come on, baby! You know you're out! You know you're out! You know you're out! I'm, I'm a performer. Some people laugh at me. I, I don't know why. I would say to them, I'm going to say this right out. If you think you can do it, come and challenge me and Alice and show you all how to sing. And I mean that. Do you think people laugh at you? Yes, well, I'm used to that. I just take a bit of a pinch of salt. Well, tell me about that. Tell me about when people laugh at you. They <clears throat> just laugh at saying, make a fool of himself. Probably am, I don't know. Well, just take a pinch of salt. They, they couldn't do what I do. If they could, I'd give them £10 pounds for to do what I do. I think the North East people, they're very able to laugh at themselves. The North East culture seems to be a natural thing. They, they seem to want to laugh at themselves and feel quite happy doing so. I'm operations director of Country Rose Inns, part of a very big property company, and they decided to come into pubs. And I was asked to come and join them um, via a funny phone call one morning. So basically I was headhunted. Okay. One round the corner just to maintenance. So we need to get those two glass which is sorted. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, get, the one the bottom, I'll get Paddy onto that yeah. today. What about I would say that Joe Elvis and his team generate for us about 70% of our turnover, um, which is between 15 and 20,000 a week. Well, that'll be good. That'll help with the old stop. How are you, love? Hi, everybody. You all right? They bring hundreds of people in to the Victoria Park twice a week. Hundreds of people. These hundreds of people are ringing the till, putting money in the till, um, putting money in, in my back pocket money in the staff's pockets. We are number one ear team. These lot suddenly pack up and say, uh, we'll move somewhere else. I believe the Victoria Park will close down. What do you get in return for the performing? You get two orange of the minis. And that sits me down to the ground. Because Blake always gives me two orange and lemonade for singing. It's, well, see, it's better nothing, isn't it? It's better notes. Basically because they're on benefits, this, that and the other, um, I would hate to actually find that if I paid them something, they would get these benefits stopped because of me. I would hate that. The only way I can reward them is beer, um, cigarettes, a meal. I feel guilty, don't get us wrong. Sometimes it, it literally upsets me when the place is absolutely packed and, and all I can give them is a few beer tokens. There's a few in here. Thank have you, buddy. Have a brilliant time, eh? Yeah. Yeah. You all right, Maureen? Aye. Smashing, smashing. I'll see you later. Joke yeah. joke. Well, I think I am being exploited. Well, we'll, think, we'll, fill, we'll fill the place for them. They'll make money out of us. Why should we have cutting that money? We're doing the work. Yeah, just certain, certain beer. If I get a chance to do it properly, I want a regular wage. Same contract, full-time employment. A regular wage to be bought. But what can I do? Not, not, not me. Joe and Maureen are homeless, having been evicted from their council flat, owing £400. That's two years' rent. £400? Do you think they'll be to rehouse me back? Will it be to give me a house back? They've been staying with relatives, but well, now they too have rent problems and are facing eviction. But you see, I haven't got long to go. I've only got this week and next week to find somewhere. Because if I don't find a way, I'll be walking the streets. Well, oh, I love chips. I come in every day for a dinner. Bombies are friendly, yeah.
Uh, they're lovely with your meals, what you're getting here. Some people complain about them, but we don't. Do we? We know people are friendly here with them. That's why they come. Why, what else would they do? Where else would they go? You know, I mean, if they didn't come here on a Wednesday, where else would they go? It's not just Wednesday. I mean, they come, what, five days a week? Afternoons, you know, just to socialise? I had touch of cancer. I was in the hospital for three months. So what they call perforation of the bowels, plus dehydration of the body. I worked at CR three times in hospital. Aye. So I had old tubes in there. I thought she was dying, I stopped going. But no one says she was. At least a lot. She's got to build herself up. Is what about yours? I finished mine. She's got to build herself up. Get herself built up again. Because someday next month, back in the hospital again. Men be good back in. This is a Priscilla grab. <laughs> I think it's down to the management team here to ensure that they are treated with respect and not exploited. You don't feel cruelty. It feels warm. The laughter is warm, it's not cold. Um, I think if it's cruel, it's cold laughter. It's, you know, making a joke, making a fun of, and it doesn't come across that way. So uh, is not the most beautiful woman in the world, but she's laughing at herself, and she gets a kick out of doing that. So I say good luck to her, I, I think it's right. I think, it, I think she should be allowed to express herself if she so wants. In some senses, they are heroic. They have turned a, a desperate situation around, and they've found a niche for themselves. they found somebody who is prepared to give them a, a, an audience and a platform. And so um, th they are admirable. The difficulty is that nobody else understands the, uh, the triumph. Everybody else who stands on their pinnacles from their normal situation, um, see somebody who's lamentably failing even to reach the first rung of any normal ladder.